Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a great day. Today, I'd like to share from the letter of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1 to 7. And if you can, I want to encourage you to read the passage with me. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. In the previous passages, we were reading how God's grace is so amazing and His love is unconditional for us. It doesn't matter what we've done in the past if we believe in Jesus and accept Him as our personal Savior, we are saved. Furthermore, we get to share the joy and the glory of Jesus' victory as God's people. In today's passage, the Apostle Paul tells us that the grace of God should not be the reason that believers freely sin by believing their sins have been already forgiven. I've seen many youth kids ask me, so is it okay for me to live my life however I want and then just say I believe in Jesus before I die? Will I still go to heaven? If Jesus has already forgiven my sins from the past, present and future, why does my lifestyle matter today? I'm forgiven anyway. Then I encourage them to ask themselves, ask yourself if you really have accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life. If you did, although you may not be perfect, you still want to obey Him because you are thankful for what He did for you and you'd want to honor Him with your life. In today's passage, in the same way, Paul tells us that our sinful lifestyle is our old self, which has been crucified with Jesus. It's been finished. It's been gone. Then what's left? It's a new life. So Paul tells us that when we think about the grace of God, we should be thankful. And when we think about the resurrection of Jesus, and that's what represents our current life too. So we should say no to sin and temptation, but pursue Jesus-centered life every day. If you have some time today, let us read this passage one more time and give him thanks and praise for his grace. It is the grace of God that has saved us through the life and death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And let us have a time of reflection to see if we are still living as our old self today. To see if, if there are particular areas that we are still struggling with our sins. Then let us ask Him for courage and strength to be able to reject the sin and temptation and let us ask him for the power of the Holy Spirit and wisdom to live our lives as Jesus-centered life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and when we think about the grace, help us to have a thankful heart and also at the same time, Help us to have a repentant heart as we live our daily life. And Lord, we are so weak in many areas in our lives. 
uh, so easily we fall into temptation. And Lord, help us to live our lives in a way that honors you for who you are and what you did for us. Lord, uh, give us wisdom and give us strength um, to continue our spiritual walk with you. Lord, in our spiritual warfare that we face today, I pray that you would give us courage uh, to say no to the sin and temptation and help us to say yes to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.